So, I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to the meeting. Uh, this meeting is about the city of Fort Worth stormwater project 7th street at Burnett storm drain rehabilitation. Um, the project manager is Mike Bennett. Uh, my name is Dylan Johns. I'm the assistant project manager um, on this project. Um, this project is a part of uh, the city stormwaters uh, storm drain rehabilitation program. Uh, the purpose of the program is to be proactive about maintaining uh, the city's aging storm drain uh, pipes and manholes uh, to prolong their service life. Um, the projects that come out of this program um, uh, come out of the uh, come out of investigations that are done either through known historical pipe failures, uh, the ages of the pipes, or uh, institutional knowledge of areas that are traditionally problematic. Uh, the pipes will be inspected through a closed circuit TV inspection using a um, small robot that will go up the pipes and record uh, defects that are found. Uh, the videos are then reviewed to identify the defects and are and pipes are then prioritized based off, off of that review. The goal of the program is to use trenchless technologies to minimize the uh, surface disturbance, um, to decrease the footprint of the work, as well as uh, just reduce the impact to uh, the residents in the city. Uh, the common trenchless technologies we use in the program are cured in place pipe, which is also referred to as CIPP. Um, that method involves a flexible liner uh, being pulled through the existing storm drain pipe. Uh, that liner is then inflated to form to the existing pipe and then using either heat or ultraviolet light, um, that liner is then cured to harden it to provide some structural stability as well as seal off any um, cracks or holes that may be in the pipe. Um, we also use uh, another technique it's referred to as geopolymer pipelining. Um, it a, uses a mortar or concrete-like compound uh, that is then sprayed on the inside of the existing pipe. And as it cures, it has uh, polymers in it that will bind to the other polymers, um, which uh, in effect forms a new solid pipe inside of the existing pipe. Uh, which has its own um, structural stability to help hold everything in place and keep the pipe from collapsing. Uh, we also use pipe bursting, which is where the existing pipe is fractured uh, in place while a new pipe is pulled in um, into the uh, existing pipe. Uh, the new pipe is typically a high density polyethylene, which is a type of plastic and they use a drill-like tool to fracture the pipe and pull that new uh, high-density plastic pipe into place. So you then uh, end up with a brand new pipe uh, in, uh, in the void left by the fractured existing pipe. Um, these are, other, are the limits of the project. Uh, we'll be working along 7th Street from Lexington Street to Cherry Street and then along 6th Street uh, from Cherry Street to Burn It. A um, little bit of background on the project. Uh, this, this project was identified through the Storm Drain Rehabilitation Program, and uh, the existing pipe was is an old pipe and is showing signs of deterioration. Um, there's cracking in it, as you can see. Um, so it needs to be rehabilitated to stabilize it, and in doing so, will extend the service life of the pipe. Um, HDR uh, Incorporated is providing the engineering design services for this project. Um, we're planning to rehabilitate most of the pipe using the cured in place uh, method that I referred to earlier. Although we will have uh, a small area of excavation at the corner of 6th Street and Burnett where um, a lateral pipe that connects uh, one of the storm drain inlets to the main pipe in the street is offset and it's a, a severe enough defect that we cannot repair it through trenchless methods. So we're going to need to um, dig up the lateral 
and uh, replace it, as well as uh, redo the inlet as a part of that work. Um, as far as impact, uh, traffic impacts, there will be temporary lane closures along 6th Street and 7th Street during construction. Um, the closures will be along the north side of both roads, so that will be affecting westbound traffic. Um, the traffic lanes will be shifted um, because of those temporary closures, but the roads will remain open for traffic in both directions. And uh, we're working with businesses that might be affected um, by those closures to make those lane closures to make sure we do not cut off access for anyone. Uh, we want to make sure everybody can still get into their driveways and parking garages. Um, construction is currently expected to start early in the summer of 2022. Uh, we should finish construction uh, within about four months. And the estimated construction cost is about $700,000. Um, and uh, we will be uh, uh, construction on the project will take place completely within um, existing city right away. And um, as far as access for the pipe, since we're using CIPP, uh, the construction crews will be working through the existing manholes, uh, which are mostly within intersections um, along the uh, project route. Um, there will be some impact along Henderson Street because the manhole is uh, directly in the middle of the intersection. So the turn lane for Henderson uh, southbound uh, will be impacted when crews are on site working. However, um, if, a, if the crews are not working through that manhole, um, the road will remain open. So our traffic, our lane closures will be shifting um, as we progress through construction. Once we finish in one location, we'll open the road back up there and move the lane closures down to the next um, access points. Um, uh, and as you can see, that is Mike's contact information and my contact information. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to call us or email us. And um, I will open the floor to anyone that has questions um, now. Oh, we have a, we have a we have a question here. Will there be other community meetings? Yes, we will have uh, one more community meeting after this. Um, we are almost done with the design on the project and the next community meeting will be the pre-construction meeting. Um, and the contractor who's selected through the city's bidding process will be uh, in attendance for that meeting. Okay, another Question, is this project fixing any flooding issues? Um, no, this project is strictly to rehabilitate the existing storm drain pipe due to the deteriorating condition. We're not um, improving the conveyance of the existing pipe. Another question here, are there recordings of prior meetings? Yes, the recordings of all of our uh, community meetings will be available on the project webpage that's on the city website. And uh, this, the recording of this meeting will um, uh, be uploaded once uh, we receive, uh, probably tomorrow. Okay, will you be acquiring any easements? We do need one temporary easement for this project um, due to the project location being on major roads downtown. Uh, we don't have room for the contractor to have a staging area. So we are working uh, with a business to uh, try to get a temporary construction easement for that staging area for our contractor to be able to leave um, their equipment trailers on site overnight. Okay, we have one here. Do you have the URL of the project website? I do not have that in that in this presentation. Jeff, could you chime in? I just posted it to the um, to the chat. Okay, so it is in the chat. 
and the chat will be stored with this recording. Correct, Jeff? Actually, that's a good question. Um, probably not when it gets converted to um, movie format, the chat usually disappears. Well, then so, I can read um, it out. It's yeah, www. Let's, it. let's just read it out. Yeah, it's www.fortworthtexas, all spelled out, dot gov slash projects. Okay, it's forward slash projects, forward slash CFW dash seven TH dash dash street dash Burnett. And that's Burnett is B U R N E T T. You could also just go to the main page and uh, in the search box type Seventh Street or Burnett, and it will uh, it'll be the first page that pops up typically. Well, maybe not Seventh Street, but Burnett for sure. We are all out of questions. Well, if uh, we're all out of questions, um, thank you everyone for attending and we'll uh, go ahead and end the meeting.